Chapter 5, Epic. I'm over by the batting cages watching my teammates get ready for practice. Ben Ben, Jason, and Lewis are sitting on the grass along the first baseline, while the rest of the Renegades, including Webb and Coach Rockford, are behind the backstop. The only ones who aren't here yet are Malik, Braden, and Braden's dad, Coach Knowles, who became an assistant coach when Coach Trent went down. I pull the sleeves of my shirt down over my ankles and take a breath because right now I'm still thinking about what I said to Zoe, or rather what I almost said to Zoe. I'm telling her tomorrow. That means tomorrow's the day. Tomorrow's the day that everything changes, and I do mean everything. I spot Braden's dad's car pulling into a spot and start walking around the far side of the batting cages until I reach the end of the fence down the left field line. Then I wait for all the renegades to be by the backstop. Let's do this, Silas, I say when they finally are. I take off, I take off running toward the infield with my arms straight up over my head and my cleats pointed toward the sky. I'm moving my arms back and forth the way I'd kick my legs if I were swimming because I'd love how funny this looked when I practiced it in the mirror in mom and dad's closet. Ben Ben spots me first as I'm approaching third base. Dude, he points. Dude, check out Silas, Lewis shouts. No way. I rotate my wrists so my cleats move in all different directions and sway my arms like I did for Zoe and Grace when I got out of the car. Ha, Jason shouts. Silas, epic, Malik raises his arms. I spin around and wiggle my butt. You're such a weirdo, Silas, Theo says laughing. I know, right, Kareem says, such a weirdo. All the renegades, including the three coaches, are now standing and looking my way. And everyone is smiling or laughing. Halfway down the third baseline, I stop and stand on one foot. I hold out my arms like I'm trying to keep my balance and rock in all directions because this move looked hilarious in my parents' mirror, too. You the man, Silas, Webb shouts. I bounce walk the rest of the way down the third baseline, and as I do, Lewis and Ben Ben are laughing so hard they're literally rolling around on the grass. Before I reach the plate, I stop and slowly bend forward until my cleats almost touch my toes. Then I stand back up, Lean left, right, backward, and then wobble and stumble across home. Epic! Malik races up and puts his baseball cap over my head, which is still in my pant leg. I start hopping on one leg, but as soon as I do, the cap falls off. When I try picking it up with my cleats, I can't grip it. Then Webb gives me a gentle push, and when he does, I pretend he shoved me hard, fling the cap into the air, and fall over. Then I roll onto my back, raise my arms and legs, and shake them. Everyone's laughing. I love hearing all the renegades laughing.